Hello friends, welcome to LabVIEW Q&A lecture series. What is a numeric value out after the following code has executed? So we have a couple of for loop, uh, input array, there is a shift register and what is a numeric array out after the code has executed? The outer for loop is fixed for four iterations whereas the inner for loop the auto indexing is enabled. So that means the number of iterations the inner for loop executes depends on the number of data present in the array. So the inner for loop will execute three times. So for each of the outer for loop iteration or execution the inner for loop will execute three times. So totally the inner for loop will execute 12 times in this code. So after the complete execution of the code, what could be the possible output on the numeric array out? So let's open a notepad and try to understand what is the output after each iteration. So after the completion of first iteration or during the first iteration of outer for loop, the array element 1, 2, 3 will enter into uh, in a for loop since auto indexing is enabled only the data 1 will be entering inside the for loop so 1 into i the value of i during the first iteration would be 0 so 1 into 0 you will get 0 so after the first iteration the first element would be 0 then the second element 2 will be coming in 2 is multiplied by i 2 into i i value is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 you will get 2 during the third data input so 3 will be coming in 3 into i 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 so at the end of first iteration of outer for loop we will have the output of the inner for loop would be 0 to 6 so the 0 to 6 is shifted to shift register and that data will be automatically transferred to the shift register on the left hand side. During the second iteration of outer for loop, the data available on the shift register would be 0 to 6. So during the during the second iteration, the input data in the shift register would be 0 to 6. So 0 is coming in which is multiplied by again i value as 0. So 0 sorry 0 into 0 the output is 0 comma the second data 2 is coming 2 into 1 you will get 2 comma the third data is 6 6 into 2 that will become 12. So at the end of second iteration the output of the for loop the auto indexing output would be 0 to 12 during the third iteration the input data would be 0 to 12 which is again multiplied by 0 1 2 so you will get 0 comma 2 comma 24 so at, a, at the end of fourth iteration your data would be 0, 2, 48. So the answer is 0, 2, 48 at the end of the execution of the given code. Thank you.